So now let's talk a little bit about all the different groups and how they, now that we've established that everybody's path is unique to them and all of them are important to the whole, let's talk a little bit about uh, some more detail about the individuals. With long-term humans, as I've said before, excuse me, they're very experienced on this planet. And what we found, the all that is found, is that even in the amnesia, not knowing the God that you are, that even broke down to the smallest vibration and the most individual human single body, that the capabilities of the God that is in the all that is and is you is capable of creating any and everything uh, just as efficiently as the all that is can, which was, of course, part of the experience. So the long-term humans are helpful in helping the star seeds in that independence, that uh, ability to create, even with the time-space um, paradigm, even with that lag time, that you can consciously create from a place of amnesia um, with the time-space lag time, with all of the uh, power that you can out of time-space and in the now and connected to the all that is. And that is the cool thing. So that's um, really something that long-term humans are helpful for whenever we start to communicate uh, better between the long-term humans and the star seeds. Now, the long-term humans, because that was the idea, that was the experience that was meant, that total and complete amnesia, the long-term humans are not as connected to everything around them. So the star seeds are very, very connected to the all that is. It is much more difficult for them to uh, think about or even consider creating autonomously. The, because a uh, star seed, no matter where they're from, is m because most of them, uh, there is no amnesia and there's a, an automatic connection and knowingness to the all that is, that everything is done with everyone else everything else so they're not very good at the uh, creating autonomously which of course needs to be done for us to get to 5d uh, there has to be an understanding and a consciously creating raising the frequency to get to the fifth dimension and then what the star seeds forte is is that just instinctual really really good at connecting with the all that is around them nature other beings etc and this is what both sides can learn from each other now when it comes to star seeds now those are broken down into just like long there aren't just long-term humans there's all different ranges of humans as well but in for the sake of just talking it's just made it simpler even though uh, there are many 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 versions it's not just long-term and just star seed. There's lots and lots of different versions. Now, all of the star seeds that are now on the planet, um, the chances that you're going to find somebody from where you call home if you're a star seed is pretty slim. Uh, because like I said, you came from your area of expertise to come and do this particular part. And your expertise was developed from that place that you consider your home and uh, you were the expert that came to do your role here. So there was no need for a whole bunch of experts from where you come from. So there was, there's very few. You guys, all the star seeds are from all over the place. Great, great, great big areas. So star seeds can feel as, as aliens sometimes to each other as they do to the long-term humans. So that makes them feel very, very alone. Because I pulled all the way back, I'm kind of like a um, a translator, like a, a translator of all languages, a bunch of human languages, only from uh, the bigger perspective because I can see all of the places that all the starseeds are come, their expertise, the long-term humans, what their expertise is. Now, when it comes to reading the third and fourth dimension, from this perspective, that is not my forte. There are a lot of other beings that are better at reading those vibrations than I am, as I've told you before. This is not my expertise. 
the higher vibrations are my expertise on reading vibrations. So um, I'm still learning and will until I'm out of this these vibrations, the third and fourth dimensional, very, very intricate uh, language, vibrational language. It's like trying to learn a very, very complex language here for me, which is why it's harder for me to communicate with a long-term human. And the longer-term human they are, the more complex their language is. So uh, the hardest for me to communicate with are, of course, from this perspective as a human body, is the longest-term humans, the ones that have been in this game from the very, very beginning. Now, I can talk to the entities that are playing these roles as in their higher self from the other side easy enough. But from talking to them human to human, uh, it's much more difficult for me. Now, when it comes to star seeds, there are a whole bunch of different layers of star seeds too, and I'll di I'll divide that into um, several categories. Although there are many many categories, so if you're older than like forty five ish, and the time there's a lot of leeway in these different things, then you were more in the group that came to set up the whole transformation and assistance to guy in the grid person so uh, the older you are probably the more trauma you've been through and then the younger you become especially 35 and younger then hopefully not in all cases there are no absolutes but in most cases there is less trauma because we got better at it as the vibration of the planet rose. And the younger generation, as I've said before, we're more here to feed power to the grid once it's, once it, once it's fixed, as the vibrations on the planet were raised, right? So there was no need for, for them to be in trauma. So the younger it gets, the younger the star seed becomes, the happier they are on the planet because they came in at the planet on a higher vibration so it was matching their natural vibration more and the more you match the natural vibration of the planet the more comfortable you are so by the time it gets to the 2012 babies they'll be very 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 happy does that make sense and of course of all of the older and younger i think they call them waves i've heard that somewhere there are different waves that had different jobs and then in between the waves there were many, many other jobs that caused many ma waves, many and micro, and on and on and on we go. So there is an expectation, although it's not absolute, but there is the general overview is uh, the older the star seed is, probably uh, the tougher it was. The first time coming on here with that higher vibration was uh, very tough, and uh, they kind of helped things to be better for the anybody that was born after them after them and after them and that's same all the way down the road okay and there are some star seeds now that are younger that are this isn't their first life on the planet but they were star seeds of the first realm and have come back as like prism children so it's their second lifetime on the planet, but they were starseeds both times. Does that make sense? Yeah, there are some of those now. And there'll be more and more of those that have had the experience on the planet before, but have starseeded twice now as the vibrations in increase. Okay? So hopefully if there's some confusion there as to, well, what I am I? Ultimately, it doesn't matter. Ultimately, the same thing will apply no matter who you are in that... To be happier and happier and happier will get you where you want to go. Will get you happier. And trust yourself. Stay centered. If you feel uh, oneness, if it's an automatic thing, you just feel like you want to do everything in a group where it's very important that everyone around you be happy, then you probably need to spend some more time on your inner self and developing that ability to create on your own. And that strength and knowingness and centeredness that you can do it all on your own. And if you tend towards 
um, not understanding oneness or being connected with anybody or understanding uh, reading vibrations, then you should probably spend more time um, uh, meditating and reaching for oneness in connecting to the all that is. So the titles, the names, long-term human starseed, uh, just don't worry about that too much because uh, that's simply, uh, you know, anytime you talk, it, it, words and thinking interfere with the, the, the message that I'm trying to get through because there are always these filters of what how I say things with my belief systems and you're going to hear them through your belief systems that can interfere with the message itself. And that's always been an issue here. But ultimately, if we keep it simple, uh, then I find that the simple, the more simple you keep it, uh, the better chances there are at success or getting where you want to go. Okay. Alrighty. Does that make sense? I hope. <laughs> okay guys uh beautiful day here in east texas and uh yeah i send you guys much much love huge huge hugs and i love all the hugs that everybody is coming up with that is so awesome so yeah uh love all the videos y'all uh uh it's really easy to create your own channel if you don't know how to upload them to the Knife Family Collective, so just uh, 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 talk to Jeremy, me, anybody to get your assistance, but really, you can watch YouTube videos, that's how I learned to do it, uh, it took a little bit, I had to try a couple times, but it wasn't hard, okay, uh, also with the whole last thing that happened, what happened with me is that uh, when there was that disagreement with, there was kind of a a split in the human grid, human body grid that I was creating with uh, the Nye Family Collective. There was kind of a, a split and a breakdown. And that grid that I was going to rely on, on my trip, kind of broke and fell apart. So I was kind of in distress on that. Uh, but that's cool because last night I had to talk with my pub friends to find out what the heck was going on. And basically, it came down to that I, as a starseed, need to understand that I do have the same amount of um, energy available, power, and God source energy to do things autonomously. And that is my, my goal, and that I don't need to do what I need to do on the first with a backup of a human grid. The first thing... Um, that certainly I can call on you guys for help and, and, um, and rely on you as my friends, but it is not necessary. And by relying on to it, that's what was making me so nervous, that I was relying on somebody else and something else. That the lesson ultimately in the, the thing that was going on was to show me that um, that... that human grid that we were kind of creating there was not necessary for me to do what I came back to do. That I can, am totally capable of doing the job that I agreed to do without that. So I do have an understanding now of using how to energetically do what I'm going to do on the on New Year's Eve. And I do know how to plug into nat the natural grid through nature. And uh, all of you guys where uh, things are alive and kicking. But basically what I was told is the human grid is so fluid still and fragile that it is not something uh, to really rely on for a job that I'm getting ready to do on New Year's. That it isn't appropriate to lock into that grid. That there's still too much transition going on with all the human bodies on the planet as everyone decides which direction they're going to go. There are so many more directions than just 3D, 4D, and 5D guys. There's so many more. But I can't possibly, I don't have the time to explain all the many options that there are. And as you, as an individual, as a being, as a you and your higher self, make that decision of which experience to have, no matter where you stand right now, as a long-term human 
or to Starseed and everything in between to many options, 3D, 4D, 5D, and all the options in between and beyond. There are so many different options um, while on this planet that what I am doing is very specific to me. And I've told you guys this over and over again, um, that I'm sharing my path with you, but expect your path to be unique to you, please. Expect your path to be unique to you. And we may be with each other a long time. You may go away, not come back. And you may go and come and go and come. And that's all perfectly fine. It's all wondrously fine. It's not as simple as you're going to be in 3D or 4D or 5D beyond outside this creation. There's there's as many, there's infinite options on in, out, around as we create these experiences and that is the point that is the point now i share my path because i'm, I'm very determined and i have a very specific goal and path and i had a very unique experience and can come back and share that with you but that is only to show you how i'm doing my path it is not for you to copy my path it is to as I've said before, help trigger you to a knowingness for you to find your path and uh, help you in remembering who you really are so you can find your own path. Okay, I just want to remind everybody of that. That this is not, it, it's not my desire for you all to copy me word for word, step by step, because we don't do that. That's, that's, that's not the way it works. But hopefully... You won't feel alone. Hopefully everyone will feel more comfortable in their path and that it'll give you strength. It will help break the amnesia. It'll help bring you back to oneness. Uh, and mostly it will help you be happier and happier, which is my ultimate goal is for you not to be afraid of death and be happier and happier and not feel as alone. Okay. All right, then, uh, I guess I'll say again, goodbye, huge hugs, love you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.